This is today's TMJ4, live at 6. Right now at 6, as boating season approaches, police in Lake Geneva are using drone technology to prevent tragedies like the one that claimed the life of a young kayaker. Rameses Huerta died after flipping his kayak on Geneva Lake last night. New at 6, Ben Jordan shows us how Geneva Lake police hope drone technology will save lives in the future. Charles and Shannon, it's hard to imagine such a horrible tragedy coming from a couple simply trying to enjoy a beautiful night out on the lake. When both their kayaks flipped, they were stuck in deep water without life jackets. A calm night shortly before sunset Thursday turns into an awful mishap for kayakers on Geneva Lake. This is a very knitted community. I'm sure it's going to bother all, all of us. His tipped over. At some point, she tried to help hers tipped over. Fire Captain Mark Moeller Gunderson says a bystander jumped in and saved the young woman. Meanwhile, Huerta went under and never resurfaced in the cool 54 degree water. Without personal flotation devices uh, and wearing clothing when you're in that kind of cold water, uh, you quickly lose your strength. Dozens of emergency crews responded, including Lynn Police, with this drone in the air. However, by the time it arrived, they already had rescue boats out there with life-saving equipment on it. Sadly, Huerta was pulled from the water, already gone. Lynn Police Captain James Bushy says these rescue calls are the reason they've recently added life-saving gear to this gadget. Then we would just raise the landing gear so the hook opens up and it drops. An addition that costs less than 50 bucks, but an important one that's first of its kind for law enforcement in the area. Especially, you know, with the limited manpower. The Lynn Police Department has just one drone. However, five officers are trained to use it. They plan on keeping it in a squad just in case they get the call. Reporting in Lake Geneva, Ben Jordan. Today's TMJ4.